Hello fellow Minecraft engineers. This is going to be a video on nuclear safety. So I've seen many nuclear reactors and most of them tend to have one layered wall. Now I'm going to show you why that is not such a good idea. While reinforced stone is strong, it simply cannot withstand the awesome power of a nuclear detonation. And pretty much the wall is going to be obliterated. Yeah. You do not want your base to end up like this. But you can see that the wall did hold off much of the explosive power. This part was devast this site is devastated, but this part is eh, you can see some of the devastation, but it, it's, it's definitely not as bad. So moving on, I've also seen bases that look like this. You're thinking, oh, three layers of walls. That should be really useful for deflecting a nuclear blast. Wrong! If you put a cable in the middle, the explosion will go right through. So let me show you. Holes, definitely not a good idea. If you think this will protect your MSFU, think again. It won't. Explosion travels right through that one hole. Yeah. So at this point, anything up here is gone, especially your precious MSFU. And whatever is on this side is pretty much just obliterated. So, proper nuclear safety requires that your reactor be placed or shielded behind two layers of solid wall. This right here is a good setup. Wait a second. This right here is a good setup. If you want to use a uh, wiring, you're going to have to make it go all the way around. Because you do not want to hole anywhere, otherwise it will blow up your crap. And you don't want it to blow up your crap. So this setup right here is going to hold off the nuclear blast. Yep, you can see this side is just obliterated, but if this was your MSFU, you'd be very happy because it survived. Again, if you want to protect, if, there, if your base was here and you want to protect it, you should definitely extend this wall up, down, left, right to protect your base. Okay. Well, and alternatively, you can just build a box around the nuclear reactor to shield the explosion, to shield everything around it. So for this right here, I've set it up. Pretend that this is a wire going from your nuke to your MSFU. And this, I haven't tested this yet, but this theoretically should prevent your base from being destroyed and save the MSFU. So this is two layers, top, down, left, right. Yep, as you can see, the explosion knocked out one full layer of shielding. But the second layer holds the blast and contains it, so all the blast energy is directed that way. And if this is your base, it's completely unscathed. Oh, that was just some help, hopefully helpful t uh, tips on how to build a safe nuclear reactor. Subscribe if you like Minecraft. And thank you for watching.